Hello, hello, hello. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. And all of that jazz. How is everyone? I am just opening a Christmas card. Crossing the miles at Christmas. Well, I've crossed a few. Daryl, have you? Yeah, that's from my sister. We've We've crossed a few. I just heard today that my sister fell again. I'm thinking this, this is about the third time. The last time she broke her nose and she went to the, uh, you know, hospital and, or doctor or whatever. And she felt like she was, a, she went in for her scheduled surgery to put it back together. And <clears throat> they sent her home saying that they were too busy or something. And she felt like she was being, um, that, that there was some patient that had more clout or whatever. And she had to go home and wait I think it was six weeks or two months to get rescheduled, at which time it grew that way. And then they had to go in and make it go back the other way, whereas it would have been a very simple, you know, it's almost like, well, it's not the same. But you know how if you get your shoulder dislocated and they pop it right back in, you know, and it doesn't stay out and get really damaged. Anyway, she fell again, and I just found out about it today. So that's not good, and uh, she's falling too much. So anyway, got some things to go over. Uh, oh yes, I want to say we want we want to give a, a special warm get well to Mary at Mary's Nest. Uh, she posted that she had. Um, that was funny. The flu. And um, so she, <laughs> if anybody has got the right recipe for bone broth, it's that gal. And so we want to give a warm get well soon out to Mary at Mary's Nest. Hopefully she'll be tuning in. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, Jack is here, my resident uh, meteorologist. Thank you so much again, Jack, for keeping me apprised of the recent tornado. Jack, unless you missed that video, Jack was texting me from 3.30 to 4.30. I was right in there under the stairs, cramped around. And um, after a while, I just couldn't sit on that little stool anymore. And so I sort of laid on my side. It's not long enough in there, from there to there, from there to there <laughs> to lay down. Oh, this is kind of weird. My, my, uh, it actually looks a little bit better, although it's a shadow there. Um, I, the, you know, these little cheap lights, I, I ordered some cheap little lights. Um, and of course they're just junk. And uh, it was a clip on light ring light that I have that I was using, you know, that I've been using the last couple of months, three, four months. And it um, it fell off and, and went on the floor in the sunroom. And I picked it up just now and I shook it and it was rattling. So, of course, it's broken. Oh, well, here it is. This is what I was talking about. Yeah. So that filament or whatever it is in there is broken. Let me say hello to everybody. Debbie is here. Debbie, I still haven't cashed your check, just in case you're wondering. It's here somewhere. Really, I, trust me, it's right here. I believe it's on this table, and I have company coming tomorrow, and all of this will be cleaned off. And so I just wanted to let you know, Jamela is here from rainy Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. Oh, good. Jack is wrapping gifts. Well, I have no gifts to wrap. And um, I haven't gotten the, uh, the uh, marmalade video edited yet. 
but I made, and you're going to see this with my, let me raise this light up. It's just a tad. So you don't hold on. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm clearing the, yeah. Anyway, that light's very cheap too, but I mean, I ordered some good stuff. It took so long to come and I was very occupied with stuff when it came and it's still in the box. I think it's over in that box over there. Anyway, can't worry about it now. I got company coming. Uh, let me say hello to Steve. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And uh, let's see, I think it was, I think it was the I am of me. Uh, I think that's who said it to me. I have her on Telegram, so I think that's, I think that's who it was, Daryl. Um, uh, hello, Linda G. And Denise, of course, which I'll see you on Sunday. And uh, let's see, a lot of good, get well wishes for Mary. Ramblin' Rose is here. I just want to know if anybody went to Ramblin' Rose after seeing those lovely products that I opened last time, that sh those gifts, and ordered some soaps from Rose. We have to support our own. So please go to Ramblin' Rose Cottage on Etsy, I think. You can post that again. You feel free to do that. I want to everybody to cross pollinate. Okay, <laughs> I want us all to be cross pollinated. <laughs> and excuse me. And uh, excuse. It, hold on. <laughs> I <laughs> I have so much dust flying around in here because I'm cleaning. And I am so excited because I finally bought a vacuum cleaner. And I was determined after, of course, you know, I had Dinora working for me for many years, at least, let's see, 2005. At, she was at there, but she was already there by 2005. And so I said goodbye to her. Wow. I've been here a year. So I said goodbye to her a little over a year ago in the alley. We were bawling. Anyway, she used to come on Fridays and keep keep me reasonably organized and, and keep, you know, things clean and vacuumed. And uh, But she would kind of go through these vacuum cleaners, you know. I would buy these $100 things on, you know, Amazon or whatever, and uh, these sweepers and they wouldn't last long. They last about a year and I have to get another one. She, she, it, something would happen to it. And she's so, Miss K, it's no good. It's no good. <laughs> well, what's wrong with it? It's no good. Okay. I'll get another one. <laughs> Whatever. So anyway, I decided I was not going to get one of those numbers. And, um, I decided I wanted a rainbow because my brother had told me about rainbow and he had rainbow. How many people know about rainbow? It's completely different from every other vacuum cleaner system and they're very expensive, but you can get the reconditioned ones. It's still expensive. You can get the reconditioned ones for much less. You can get them through Amazon and other places, other distributors. Uh, so, uh, anyway, I finally, <laughs> when it, I was talking to this electrician that came to fix some stuff and uh, he was saying that I was telling him I was thinking about getting a rainbow and he said, oh, my wife just got one. It was on her wish list for two years and she has, she's so good and she had been looking at eBay, 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 eBay and she, she found this really good one on eBay for like $300 and uh, she was so excited. And well, this was 
mine was quite a bit more than that, but uh, I'll never have to have another one. I'm sure of that. And I'm so excited because I used it for the first time today and it has a water tank. So you don't have that dust blowing out the other end, you know, with all that exhaust and you smell it and all of that. I put my thieves, actually, this is not thieves, but I put my thieves, uh, Young Living Thieves essential oil, about three drops in the tank of water. And then all of the dirt and dust and everything goes into the water. And then you dump out that water when you're done. There's no filter. So it's just brilliant. I mean, my brother has been literally, he bought his used and he's had it for, I think he said at least 15 years. So I'm going, okay, well, this is, this is, I'm never going to have to have another one. <laughs> oh, enough on that. So that's why my nose was, uh, <laughs> running. Uh, let's see. Dolores is here. Uh, Connie's asking about my sister's doctor and, um, I don't know if they figured that out. I really don't know. I mean, my sister has had so many health problems her health problems start, well, her health problems, she's had, she's had health problems her whole adult life. And not even adult, I mean, preteen, teen, teen, and on up. She was diagnosed with um, progressive scoliosis when she was a teenager, I think. And, uh, and I remember when she was about, I think, 35, she, uh, she had this wretched back surgery. It was an eight hour thing where they went in from the front and the back and they wired up the whole lower back and, and all of that. And, uh, and, you know, I guess it was the newest technology at the time, but uh, anyway, it's a long story. So I, I actually don't know the answer to that. Um, <laughs> oh, we're going to call you Rambo Rose. <laughs> Rose, we're going to call you Rambo. Gina has called you Rambo Rose. Uh, let's see. Beatrice is here from New York. Gosh, I would hate to live in New York City right now. I am so glad. And if anybody's from New York, I, I feel for you. Um, living in New York now, now, I don't mean from New York. I mean, if you're there now, I mean, wow. Things are crazy there. And I am so glad I got all of that living in New York out of my system from 1980 to 88. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's see who we got here. I jumped. Okay, I'm going to try to get Dina is here. Remind us where you're from, Dina. Uh, I didn't hear from, um, so, so Gina, just uh, FYI, keep your eye on the chat. Gina is filling in today. I didn't hear from Patricia. Jack is here, but I don't know if, uh, how long you're going to be. Jack tends to pop in and out and I don't see Haffy, uh, tonight. So if you see any comments that don't look right, uh, Gina, you just simply put your browser just to the right of the comment and you'll see three dots. And let's see what the options are. Uh, remove, hide user, remove, uh, remove. You can, you, can re you can report it. You don't need to do that. You can remove it. You can put the, the best thing to do is to put the user in timeout. But if it's really something not nice, just hide the user on this, uh, on this live stream. Okay, now that we have, all, I mean, Quick lesson. <laughs> Leanne is here from Idaho. Yay. I was just thinking about Idaho today. I, I literally thought to myself, if I left here, I would go to Idaho. <laughs> oh, one of my late bloomer fans that who you've seen in the video, she came up to help me before I left, got out of my house that, that those last few hectic months. Uh, she's selling out in San Diego and they're going to Idaho. And, um, 
about 30 minutes from where my son is. So I'm going, hmm. And I got another friend that just bought a house uh, just a few minutes outside of Boise also. So uh, anyway, uh, I think, I think, I think today we, <laughs> you know, remember when we used to decide where to live, it would be like the weather or, you know, where you needed to go for your job or something like that. Or when you retired, you want to go some someplace warm. <laughs> Today, you have to go someplace that's free. <laughs> so, uh, and that is quickly disappearing. We have to really watch it or we're going to lose it too, just like they have already in other places. So, oh, Rose, are you almost all so sold out? Dolores said she tried to order some, but they were almost all sold out. Connie liked the cross-pollinating thing. Uh, oh, I see the shop is closed. All right. So her, her Etsy shop or whatever, I guess it is, uh, is closed for the holidays. And so we'll, we'll be checking back in at the end of January. Uh, oh, Patricia is here. Good evening. Phone was dead as a doornail. <laughs> that happens to me just about every day. Uh, let's see. Ah, great. She, so, so you have some fans, Rose. Judy went to look. Dolores went to look. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for supporting our fellow um, gardeners and uh, homesteaders and, and just people who are interested in everything we're interested in. <laughs> oh, they did. Daryl, they did. They're all corrupt. <laughs> it's hard to find one that didn't cross pollinate. You know what I mean? Uh, if you'd like to know what I'm drinking, I am drinking chaga. Chaga. Chaga mushroom is one of those blessings from God that is so healthy and so good for you. And in, in particular now with everything that's going on, it's uh, it's a great thing to add to your, um, to your war chest, your medicine chest. Um, let's see. <laughs> Leon's Leon says <laughs> you couldn't you couldn't pry her husband's cold dead hands off of that rainbow. <laughs> I gotta say I loved it, and when when I was actually using it, the the sun was right there coming straight in the windows. And uh, Eric, are you out there? I've got, it's not Eric, Eric. <laughs> I, uh, I have a problem. I, I have a, a, a new, well, or a, a returning problem. I'll discuss it in a minute. Let me see if I can get caught up here. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Yes. She obviously did, Daryl. <laughs> she chose your birthday to reopen. Let's see. Where are we? I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay up. It's if I scroll down too fast. It jumps. Oh, I actually like it because it's got this weird little platform that sticks out. And I, when I was looking at it, I thought that looks like that would really get in the way. Not terribly streamlined, but the thing is, what's funny about it is, is it has these four feet that stick out and it's curved like this in between the feet. And then when you're pulling it along, if it runs into something, it kind of slides around that curve and it kind of turns. And I'm going, yes. I mean, you know, vacuums where, you know, the old kind that you, you're having to pull it and always runs into something and you got to go get it off of that something. It seemed, it seemed to follow better than usual. Let's see. What are we talking about that needs duct, duct tape? I've already forgotten the, uh, that conversation. Hi, the happy gardener. 
Oh, my mother was so good. Well, she was good at everything, but she was so good at wrapping gifts. Everything was so perfect. And she taught me how to do it very, very exacting. So everything looked like it could sit in a store window. Uh, Dina's from Michigan. That's right. <laughs> Linda says gift bags. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the easy way, easy way out. Uh, let's see. Anyway, the happy gardener. Hi, remind us where you are. So Patricia can write it down. Uh, Oh, my phone is about to die. And my ring doorbell is about to die. Let's see. Okay. Um, well, uh, Rose, I used to be like that with, with Christmas cards. I still get a handful of handwritten Christmas cards. Got By the way, Patricia, I got yours. Thank you very much. Um, I stopped doing it years ago. And I, I write so little now. I used to have really, really nice handwriting. And I write so little now that if the last time I tried to do Christmas cards, you know, I start out the first five or six envelopes look really nice. And then by the time you get to 100, you know, you can't even read it. Yes, we have 72 people. Welcome, welcome. Please hit that like button and give me some support. I need it. I need those that algorithm to kick in. So if you're on mobile, just get off for a second. You don't have to get off the live. Just get off the live chat. Hit that thumbs up button and make that 36 go to 70. Make it go to 200. <laughs> ah, mushrooms. I would love to uh, start growing mushrooms. I know. How hard can it be to wrap a box? It's just, if you're good at making a bed and doing the corners on a bed, you'll be good at wrapping uh, a box. But you know, when, when I was little, they didn't wrap presents. Everything was just all, I mean, they got up in the middle. Well, no children are watching, right? Santa Claus brought presents they weren't wrapped in in the original boxes. You know, if it was a truck or a or a train or a, a rocking horse or whatever, it it was all sitting there like like he pulled it out of the bag and set it down. There was no like store wrapping and then paper on top of that and then ribbon and then all that stuff. No, 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 no. We didn't do any of that. Dina has just started drinking chaga. Where did you get your ch chaga? Uh, let's see. My thing is stuck. Oh, oh, oh. No, I guess it's not. I guess I'm caught up. Oh, we only got to 39. What happened? There's 69 people. Come on. It's Christmas. If you didn't send me a Christmas present, at least hit the like button. I know some people are watching on TV. I, I want to grow mushrooms. I can't grow chaga unless I manage to plant birch trees and they manage to produce. But I think that they only do that in a... Uh, I think they only do that in uh, colder climates. Am I wrong? <laughs> Let's see, Marn Simpson. I know, I know. I used to do that with a fountain pen. Fountain pens make you slow down and force you to write more beautifully. That's another thing my mother was good at. She, you know, she would go through these project phases. And at one point she decided that she wanted to learn how to do, um, gosh, what's it called? Uh, 
There's a name for that beautiful letter writing. What's it called? Uh, Yes, uh, the happy gardener is saying, go back to the intro screen and give a thumbs up. And yes, I sure would appreciate it. We're still stuck in the 40s. We need to be up in 70 range. Um, oh, they don't? Oh, that's too bad because they're so pretty. Uh, Kathy is agreeing that the, pre the presents were all, you know, out, so you walk in and you just go, oh, oh, this is unbelievable. Calligraphy, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Look, everybody, er, wait, 10 people can think of it and I cannot. Okay, there you go. Uh, thank you, Connie, for asking, how's my mother doing? She, her dementia is worse and her long-term memory is pretty much shot. And, um, it's difficult for me. Every time I go, it gets more and more difficult. So, uh, that's interesting. Chaga is a scab that heals over a damaged birch tree. So it, <laughs> it is the healing of a tree and then you drink it and it heals you. Isn't that's just profound. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, good. No, it's just extra work and extra money. And, and, then, and then it's all that trash, putting all that paper in the trash. Um, ah, Paul. <laughs> Paul has opened another device and has given me two thumbs up. Thank you so much, Paul. God bless you. Uh, <laughs> Really? He says he's seen chaga growing on sweet birch. Is sweet birch different from, I mean, uh, Central Virginia mount mountains? I'm at 700 elevation, so I don't see anything around here. Oh, I'm so sorry, Connie. Yeah, it's, uh, well, does she have uh, Alzheimer's or just dementia? Love Garden is here, and I'm trying to remember who Love Garden is. It's Love Garden Berlin. Vascular dementia. Okay, Rose, thank you. Rose is saying I can contact her because she's been there and done that with dementia. Charlotte is here from Northern Kentucky. Charlotte go, Charlotte, go ahead and hit that like button so we can get those thumbs ups going. All right, let's, let's talk about some stuff. So look what I just got today. I did not even order this. I did not even order this. Does anybody have any, like what, if you were going to recommend one thing for me to order out of this book, what would it be? Just tell me right now. Look at all those really dark flowers. I don't I don't think I would want all those dark sunflowers, but they might be beautiful, I guess. Uh, anyway, tell me what you would like me to, to order in, in this. Uh, and then I also got a, um, have you ever heard of gurneys? They've been around since 1866. <laughs> I, think, I think you might've heard of them by now. Uh, Anyway, they, they got your basic stuff. I don't know if they do heirloom seeds or any of that, but, but look, these, it, look at these, um, look how much you get off and this expires one thirty twenty two. So you get a free $100 off your product purchase of 200. You get 50% off. That's a great deal. Uh, yeah, each. Let's see. You get $25 off of a $50 sale. You get $50 off of a $100 sale. In other words, you get half. You get you get double. That's a really good deal. So you might want to check out Gurney's. I get nothing for saying that. I want to point out that I ordered some stuff from one of our friends, Danny at Deep South Homestead, Danny and Wanda. 
And I am telling you, it was like what a day or two and I got all this stuff. So they got right on my order and I just decided to, you know, I want to support people that support me. He gave me a big shout out on his uh, video or live stream the other day. And uh, so I want to uh, support anybody that supports me. So I got, this is what I got. Cherokee wax, yellow beans. I didn't have any of those, any yellow beans. And Tennessee muskmelon, old fashioned. Have you heard of that one, Daryl? And I remember my grandmother grew muskmelon, but I don't remember anything about it. I don't know why it's called muskmelon or anything. Chaga is a parasite on a birch tree. Thank you, Charlotte. Oh, no, I can't order one of everything. What would be the point, you know? Uh, oh, yeah, this is probably not the, the well, this is their 25th catalog. Did you get something bigger than this? I mean, this is a big magazine on Jack. Pink dandelion? <laughs> no, Daryl. I'm not ordering bamboo. Hey, hey, Daryl, did you see that some people in the comments said of my video yesterday that that, that thing with the red berries might be a, a form of bamboo? Did you see that? Sweet birch is also known as black birch. Okay. Oh my gosh, I know Melbourne, Florida. I spent a little time down there when I was young. I had a boyfriend and and his, he was from Sanford. You probably know where that is. And um, his house had a bomb shelter in the backyard. It was pretty interesting. Just this concrete structure right in the middle of the backyard. Uh, let's see. Um, Love Garden says, I've been watching a long time. I'm from Melbourne. Thank you so much. Let's see. Gina, what do you, what, Nada, oh, oh, that's what I'm supposed to order from this, Nada Pinos. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Pink dandelion. Marn is here. Marn, where are you from? We've got so many little flies in here. Uh, oh, good. Ed and Lucy are here from Beverly Hills. Merry Christmas to you. I hope that we all have a safe Merry Christmas free of fear. <laughs> Reject fear. Star of David okra. You know, I saw this really tall, tall okra in Danny's, uh, one of Danny's, more than one of Danny's videos. And I thought, I love okra. I want to grow that. I have, I have way more seeds. In fact, I'm going to, I may be selling seeds. I have so many okra and other seeds. Uh, a Cherokee tan pumpkin and speckled butter pea. They, they, some of them were pink and some were white. They were so cute. So I said, I got to have all that. And then, um, and then he has a, I'm looking forward to looking through this. He, he makes these manuals. Oh, I see what's happening. Is this light is, uh, no, I don't want you to see my mess. <laughs> I have. Still a lot of cleaning to do before four o'clock tomorrow. Uh, sweet potato manual. And he, he just does these, you know, he just, they just print these out on their computer or whatever and put them together, I guess. And then you can put them in a notebook, a, ri a ring binder, which would is a really good idea. Then, then you can at least find it. I can at least find it. So there's all kinds of things about um, the sweet potatoes and also 
the English pea manual. So I love English peas. I love sweet potatoes. So I'm looking forward to doing all of that. Uh, I just wanted to, I know I'm not supposed to, she said, don't, you don't need to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Cause it's sitting right here. And Connie, my wonderful fan, Connie sent me this beautiful uh, tea collection of Numi. Numi is such a beautiful tea. And so there's like once there's six different, wait, six or, oh no, eight different varieties in here in this beautiful sampler. That That's a really nice gift idea, you guys, if you thought about it. I wanted to show you this new little thing because I want to talk about these. Okay, how many people know what this is? Anybody know what this is? I just couldn't resist getting that. Isn't that cool? It's got these measurements. I don't know if you can see that. Look at these measurements. Where are they? Well, there's writing on here, imprinted on here. I don't know if you can see it. Looks like it's maybe one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, something like that, or inch and a quarter. Uh, and what you do, wait, does anybody know the answer? Let me see if it's a, <laughs> it's a wine barrel tap, LOL. That's funny. Uh, It, uh, Hailong Kai, where are you from? That's an unusual name. It's a lovely name. Uh, it's a, yes, Connie, Connie's so smart. Connie, you have to know everything. Why do you have to know everything? <laughs> uh, it's, I guess, I guess that's what you call it, but it, it's for planting bulbs. Certain bulbs, you push it down so far. Certain bulbs, you push it down so far. But, you know, you could also do your garlic with this. Um, San Jose, okay. Welcome. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to test for the virus. Oh, I must be positive. No brains. <laughs> uh, yes, planting bulbs. Yes, yes. Lorna says a bulb planter. True, true. So, <laughs> so let's talk about. I don't know why I'm so like giddy and silly today, but uh, you know, it's uh, I, I. What are you going to do? It's just. I mean, the world is <laughs> falling apart. So, um, we might as well get the most out of it. Let's see. Pink dandelion. Oh, they're not in stock. Pink dandelion. Never even heard of it. Um, I mean, what do you do with pink dandelion? And where would I find that? Is is it? Is this? Uh, by the way, remember my moringa? You know, all three of them died. Kind of. I, I don't know if this is dandelion. I'm just going to look under D. I'm, I'm taking a shot here and just looking under D. Because I'm not sure how you... Ah, dandelion. Pink dandelion! Imagine yards full of pink dandelion. Are they edible? Oh, man. Look how beautiful. Wow. They're yellow in the middle with pink edges. Some, something, I don't know. Something tells me you can't eat them. But do you know? Do you know? Anybody? Gosh. So we got... We got a, we, I'm so sorry, everyone. I was, I was yakking on and I didn't see that. Oh, Martin, Martin is here from Canada, Ontario. How is it up there? Uh, 
let's hear it from the straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Okay, not hot. Okay, uh, Gina, I want you to re uh, I want you to remind me of that later. Okay. We needed to see a close-up of that bush. Ah, oh, thank you, Paul. Well, hmm, I should have. Oh, it's called heavenly bamboo, but it's not a bamboo. Okay. Wait, I missed something here. Happy Gardener used to order from Gurney's, but they... What? What? Gosh, I think I did a, a two-tone gasp there. Did you hear that? You know how those singers can like sing two, two tones at the same time? I think I just did that accidentally. Gurney's bought, got bought out by Monsanto? Really? It's going in the trash. Um, okay, speaking of seeds, Daryl, what do you think? I'm just trying to catch up, everybody. Let's see. I can't believe this guy got like five comments in before we got a hold of it. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Jack. Okay. Um. <laughs> Olive is here. Welcome. Olive, I need some of that comfrey salve. I'm happy to pay. So just let me know if you have any to, to sell. Uh, let's see. Pink celery. Uh, I just find celery so hard to, I mean... Yes, it comes up, but I've never had celery grow where it looks like it is in the store. I think they must put a band around it at some point in the field because otherwise, when I when I actually did well with celery, it just grew like that. It, it never grows like that. Order everything red. <laughs> yes. Speaking of which... Uh, Gina said I order, order all my seeds red. I think I got more than three. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I was in Sprouts, which is, you know, close to where my mother is in her facility. And I just decided, you know, I always walk by the botanical. I'm actually an affiliate for botanical interest seeds. And I have never received a penny. Perhaps partly my fault, but I mean, I heavily promoted it on my blog for years. It was underneath every single blog post. I don't post blogs too much anymore. Uh, but uh, in fact, I haven't, I don't know if I've done one the whole year because I'm just too busy making videos. But um, anyway, never made a penny for that. Thank you very much. And uh but I still think it's a good company unless somebody knows something I don't know. Um, but they have a um, display in the, in sprouts and I just, I got sucked in. Here we go. D Daryl, you're going to love this one. And you could have given me this, these seeds, but I just, this was so cute. I had to, this is a birdhouse gourd. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Like I am gonna really make go uh, birdhouses. I mean, I mean, I'm not, but you know. But I got the seeds anyway. I thought it'd be fun to grow it. And lobelia, I just love lobelia. I had the most beautiful lobelia in California, and I couldn't get it going here. Don't know why. But here we go, Gina. Chief Red Flame 
Celosia? Is that how? Celosia? That just looked awesome. Scott had just uploaded a video. Join me in the single seed challenge 2022. What is a single seed challenge? I see him and others doing that. I don't know what that means. And I bought, this looks very much like the Cardinal Climber, but it's called Cypress Vine, Funny Valentine, Valentine, Funny Valentine Blend. And there's a hummingbird there. And you know, I'm a Valentine girl. So I, and, it, and they're red. So obviously I had to buy that. And I bought this, which I've never seen before, but you know umbels, right? Um, beneficial insects like umbel-shaped flowers, umbels like umbrella. And so sometimes they're flat across and sometimes they're curved. And um, this is an umbel flower that I'd never heard of. And it looks lovely. It's called Ami, Dacus carota. Oh, it's like part of the carrot family, I guess. It's called Dairy, Dara. Anybody know this one? So that's all I that's all I bought. And um, so anyway, Daryl, this is my corn. I'm gonna bring this on Sunday and have you look at it and tell and have you tell me. I mean, all of the cobs were small. Most of the seeds are small. And I don't know if it's worth planting small seeds to get that, to get your corn. But that's what I, that's the last thing that I have collected for the summer season. I had all of this cobs and and, and, and husk and everything in, in the living room. Oh, it was such, it's, well, I have to vacuum with my new vacuum. I have to vacuum that up, but um, what a mess. It feels like there's a window open. I will op believe it or not, I opened three windows today and had some cross ventilation and it was so nice. It wasn't too cold, but now it's cold in here and I'm not, I'm not sure why. Probably because I turned the heat way down. <laughs> Lorna says, my joy of heart of homesteading is continually contagious. Joy of gardening. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It is. And, and next week, everybody bring an extra person so we can get 150 people watching and 200 people and a thousand people and spread the message that uh, we don't have to hide. We don't have to be in fear. We have, we have to stay healthy, build up our immune systems. And uh, with all the protocols, these are all published. They're all over the place. You can't, you can't miss, oops, excuse me, knowing what, uh, what the protocols are to be taking for the, you know, to, to stay healthy. Says it's edible. Marn says cold. I think you must mean it's cold there. Okay. Okay. Great. Oh, well, I'm going to try to get some pink dandelion then. <laughs> to laugh love garden i'm not laughing at you i'm just laughing because uh she love garden has said kay have you ever grown loofah <laughs> well loofah my loofah video is my biggest i have way over a million views on my how to grow loofah for sponges video and that video was so sort of perfect in so many ways. It had comedy. It was touching. I had my my little helper who lived next door, and uh, he was in there, and and he was helping me uh, peel them. And uh, I almost had an accident, you know, like the, the the blooper. I had bloopers back then, you know, because I had an editor and a sound editor and everything. And that is the episode that I actually took to the film fest, the, the web festivals. Uh, and um, 
I won, finally won the uh, best <laughs> after three, three tries. The third try was the charm. I won best reality series at the um, Canada's premier web festival in Vancouver in 2017. So that was a big moment, you know, I'm sort of sitting there because I'd been disappointed twice. So I'm sort of sitting there looking at my phone and then they call my name. It was so exciting. But I covered all that in my very first vlogs that were shot on my phone and edited on my phone. Forgive me for that crude uh, technology, but that's what I started using as of that festival. Somebody uh, at the festival, the two girls from Adobe were at the festival with this new software called Clip. And it's really more for like young people who are just posting images with music and just kind of, you know, maybe it was some sort of like pre TikTok kind of thing that they were doing. I don't know. I don't even know if that software, if, if they stayed with that software or not, but, but they showed me how to use it in like, in like less than an hour we had edited the first vlog and it was like, this is easy. I can handle that. But, but the, the music was so limiting. And once you set the music, it was, it, it ran on a loop all the way through. You couldn't have it here and take it out there. And when you're talking, it's really hard to have music when you're talking. And somebody actually, actually recently, they saw this video that I did. I, it was, I think it was one of the very last ones I did on that software. Remember the lady in Tennessee? This is, I traveled to see her when I, when I was still living in California, I came back to Tennessee. She had a beautiful place with a, uh, a big pond out front. She had geese sitting on eggs and she had pottery and she, uh, she had a 20 year old cat that was, that had no teeth. <laughs> she, she had, it was a very interesting visit. And, uh, and when I put it together, it was 18 minutes long. And this music that I set for it was like, I mean, you were so sick of this music before it was over. And I, so was I, but there's just nothing you could do with it. There was no very little uh, way to manipulate it and work with it. All right. Love Cat is here. Well, what? so the single seed challenge. So, if you if your seed dies, are you allowed to start over? Is that what you're saying? Love cat. Genesis, you plant one seed in a pot and continue to care for it. It is for beginners. I see. Okay. Uh, I can give uh, Daryl. I can give Daryl your email address. Your email address, Jack, if you want that. So anyway, Love Garden. That's my story about. Please look back. And uh, and grab that. In fact, I can do that. I can do that real fast. Uh, let's see. I'm going to grab that. In fact, I'd like to see actually. Uh, I'd like to see how many views I have on there now. Uh, let's see. What are the analytics? Okay. My gosh, it's still, it's still doing better than the videos that I do here. It's crazy. I got, I got 20, almost 2,300 views on that video from 2016 in the last 28 days. That's better than a lot. In fact, there are 121 people are watching in this hour, that video. That's crazy. What is the total though? Where do I find the total reach engagement audience? Uh, hmm. And it's, and that particular video has brought me 24 subscribers in the last month. That's crazy. Daryl, do you happen to know if your video is still uh, doing well? Have you, have you looked at that lately? We did a video in, of Daryl's garden in uh, July or August. And it just went viral, like right out of the bat. It did really, really well. And then it tapered off. But um, I 
That's so funny. I'm going to have to go to the actual video. I'm Kay and I'm, I'm, Kay and I'm a late bloomer. 1,114,655 views. And that uh, was uploaded on October 27th, 2016. Kay goes all out on her first try growing loofah for sponges. See the results. Please subscribe. Help me. This is what I used to say under my videos. Help me inspire people to grow their own food. All righty then. <laughs> oh, I need to get back to my live. Oh, here, here we go. Let me see if I have any comments here that I really need to answer. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, Olive has a jar for me for me for, by her front door. Fantastic. Yes, uh, my raw cheese. Uh, the, uh, they carried my raw cheese. The, the, I only eat one kind of cheese because that's the only one that I can find that's raw. Sometimes you can find the aged cheeses, you know, the expensive cheeses. You can find one that's not pasteurized. Um, but the only, just the regular cheddar that's not pasteurized, they carried that until a week or so ago. And he said that um, corporate said to take the tag off. So I don't know what happened there. Okay, I'm just reading once again about I'm reading about the pink dandelion. Well, Marin, uh, yeah, pole beans are great. Um, you know, the I, I don't know, you're in Canada. I'm not sure what grows well up there. Maybe somebody, one of our New York people would know. But anyway, you've obviously figured it out. Yeah, you 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 get these purple beans. You're growing the all these purple vegetables, and then you, you put them in the pan to cook them, and they turn green. And I'm going, why? Yes, you missed all the action. Happy is here. Uh, let's see, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin just got here too at Big Wave Fly. Say hi to everybody. Um, Uh, the happy gardener says to put a paper bag around the celery so it will grow taller. Well, I did the paper bag thing to make it, um, and I have a video on that, to, to blanch it, to make it lighter color. But it's weird because whatever you put around it, you know, it's going to get rained on. So you put paper bag or newspaper or whatever, it's going to get rained on and get messy and that's what happened to me anyway. Oh, it's minus five. You mean, you mean Fahrenheit? Andrajana? John, Andrajana? You mean minus five Fahrenheit? Uh, let's see. Oh! <gasps> It jumps. It makes me so mad when it does that. Let's see. My voice is breaking up. Anybody else have that problem? Thank you, Haffy. Yeah, it took a while. <laughs> yes, it would be nice to just have a tranquil Christmas, wouldn't it? Beatrice had to go. Merry Christmas, Beatrice, if you're already gone. Love you. Uh, okay, let's see. 
All right. So they were talking about Queen Anne's lace, I guess, in reference to this, uh, that similar to that. Let's see. Wait, I went there to get, <laughs> hold on a second. Um, here we go. Here's the, the link. You can grab the link. Uh, Love Garden. Grab the link if you can. Uh, let's see. You are in San Jose and your loofah failed. Hmm. Not sure what happened there because it's kind of like a weed. It, it can get, uh, you know, the various cucurbit problems that you have, you know, from bugs to um, fungal issues. But you might have you might have just watered it too no, too much. I don't know. Justine Trowbridge is here. Welcome. I haven't seen your name in a while. Can you uh, remind us where you are? Oh, yeah. That that's the thing is like a lot of times you grow squash and you just get all those male flowers. Um, but then, then I've also heard that it produces a lot of male flowers first and then some females. So I, I'm not referring to loofah I'm just, in general. I'm not specifically, I'm just talking about cucurbits. Um, thank you, Beatrice. Sacred bamboo. But is that what I had down there on the front? It was really pretty. Yeah, I my fingers are too clumsy and fat now to, to edit on my phone. That's just, I'm over that. Okay, Daryl says, with gourds, male flowers form on the main stem, females on side branching. Best to prune gourd vines at five feet or so. <gasps> Isn't that interesting, um, Connie? Maybe, uh, maybe if you had done that. I wonder if I don't I never really pruned mine and I got I always got loofah uh, growing. That's interesting. Prune uh, this the main stem at 5 feet. Okay. Oh, so so Lorna says she grew the uh, the dark red sunflowers this year along with purple large purple canna oh i bet and and beautiful with the red lily flower canna oh yes marielle let's see let me try to pronounce your last name boisson neo neo uh, boisson neo <laughs> do you pronounce the lt Mariel Boissonneau. Did I say that right? Mariel Boissonneau. Not sure if you pronounce the L and the T. <laughs> I see. I can do that. Oh, they do, Judy. Absolutely. Yeah. They, they, YouTube has been very stingy in recommending my, my videos. Um, it's like my video has to like come out of the starting gate and just go up, uh, like Daryl's did for them to recommend it. Otherwise it's just all up to you guys to share. <laughs> okay. Lorna is in Nova Scotia. Wow. Is Nova Scotia, it's part of Canada, right? It's like, are you governed by Canada or do you have your own government? I hope. <laughs> you sold 25 bulbs. Wow. Wow. 
Oh, but that sounds like a great idea. Love Cat said she had planned to combine single seed challenge with with a botanical watercolor watercolor journal idea where she was to paint a study each week. Well, I want I'm challenging you to do that this year. I think that's a great idea and it would be be so good for you for your um for your powers of observation. And because I went to art school and I did a lot of a lot of drawing from what you see, you know, plants, people, models, whatever, trees. Uh, it's it's so good for your observation. And um, I think a lot of people would enjoy seeing that. That's interesting, Judy. Thank you for telling me that. She says Mewtwo is recommending some of my older videos to her feed. Yeah, I Haffy is saying that I should get back to my old format of interviewing others in their gardens. Um, it's not so difficult in Tennessee. I mean, I can I can go, you know, and do that. It's just that. I never ever got um, the kind of response that I got on that one of Daryl's. Even even the other videos of Daryl's didn't do well. So I can't afford to do that anymore. So okay, Tina and Ryder are here. Merry Christmas! Hey, Ryder, you must be getting up to be about thirteen by now. Have I got that right? Oh, you could absolutely grow bamboo in Southeast Louisiana. Jeremy is here from uh, Phoenix. Merry Christmas. Uh, <clears throat> ants on your loofah. Well, I'm assuming they were probably farming, uh, farming uh, aphids. Did you notice that you had aphids? Um, otherwise, why would ants go up your loofah plant? Whenever I see ants going going up any kind of a vining plant, it's because they're farming aphids. Um, you can, uh, I've never used it directly on a vine like that but I don't know why you couldn't use it. What I did with my citrus trees, cause I had ants going up and taking aphids up into my lemon and orange tree. And I used the, well, it's, it's like a, it's like if you can imagine a piece of corrugated cardboard and there's only a backing on one side and there, and it's just the ridges on the front and there's a strip of that and you put it around the tree and you tape it and then you paint the whole thing with this really sticky stuff that's, um, can anybody help me out with a brand name of that? I, I, I had it for years. Uh, it's really, really tacky. And then it just, it just stops the ants from grow, going up. But I don't know why you couldn't just, you might be able to just brush something really, really sticky on the bottom of the vines and, and and they just get stuck and they can't go up. Minus five Celsius is what in uh, relation to Fahrenheit? Ginger Rogerson, welcome. She has really enjoyed my videos and I don't remember a ginger being a fan. So where are you, where are you writing from? And I appreciate you watching. Oh, thank you, Gina. Sorry. <laughs> I'm behind you guys. Question. The birch trees have a medicinal syrup in it called wintergreen. Does it taste like a mint? Does anybody know the answer to that? I don't. Uh, 
I recommend, you know, Judy, I used uh, giant climbing bamboo in my California house. You know, our houses were very close together, but you have to have a concrete retaining wall to keep it. And you do have to like, I guess once a year, you got to get that and chop those babies uh, off the wall and stuff, and, you know, to keep it under control. But uh, I mean, Daryl doesn't have that concrete thing. He just uses that black stuff that goes down about eight inches. But I don't trust that for for any kind of, um, um, you know, bur uh, suburban or city yard or something. Uh, you got to have concrete. But but we put it when we put it in, it was probably uh, 12 feet tall. And within a year or two, it was 20 feet tall and full. Thank you, R.M. Robinson. Where are you where are you located? He says, or she says, love your videos. You're inspiring. Thank you. God bless you. I know, right, Le Leanne? With journal drawings, that would be so good. Yes, Ryder is 13. Hey, Ryder. Welcome to being a teenager. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, gosh. I am very sorry to hear about your dad, Ryder. Well, you got to grow up fast when that happens. Be the man of the house. Tanglefoot, thank you. Tanglefoot is that sticky stuff that you paint on the cardboard to protect your trees from ants constantly going up and carrying aphids. Um, may I ask what happened to his dad? I'm so sorry. What is it? What does a maritime province mean? What does that mean? You're still under you're governed by Canada. Oh, uh, thank you for pointing that out. Marn says Tanglefoot is really bad for hummingbirds in particular. Well, I never saw, I always used it, you know, just this far off the ground. Um, and I never saw a bird or um, even a moth stuck to it. So, but uh, be, be, be advised on that. Um, Okay, Lorna, what are we talking about that multiplied? I know Gina lost her mom in August. Well, the thing about my peppermint essential oil is is cost too is too expensive to start, you know, using in the garden, really. Uh, I mean, I could do it, I could put a few drops in a spray bottle and spray it, but that would, you know, you'd have, you'd have to use it. I I'm referring to her olives comment. Ants hate peppermint essential oil. Not sure if it would hurt the loofah plants base to brush it on there. I don't think it would hurt at all. I used to spray peppermint. Uh, I, I, I made up a peppermint spray and sprayed it on the, uh, my squash vines because that was supposed to help with the squash vine borer. Um, but uh, no, no, it's never easy to lose anyone. That's right. And I'm very sorry. Yeah, that was my amazing autist is here. Haven't heard from you in a while. How are you doing? Oh, wow. Oh, 
Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Very sorry. Um, Tina. Let's see if there was anything else because we are over time and, uh, and I'm caught up on comments. So I just want to make sure that, uh, well, I did want to ask you about bulbs because, I mean, I know the instructions are on here, but I never got around to doing these. And, oh, those are shallots. I mean, it's not too late to stick shallots in the ground, is it? I was going to do some shallots and then... Uh, I have, uh, tulips and, um, some other bulbs over there, which is why I got the Dibbler. Love this. Uh, but I, you know, I don't know if it, it, now is not a good time to plant them, is it? Does anybody have, uh, an answer for that? Merry Christmas, Linda. Why water it tonight? I watered mine today. Why water it tonight? Any particular reason? I must have missed something, amazing autist. You're welcome, Tina. Really? Okay. I heard that deer love tulips. So that means they have to go right by the house. What are we talking about these monarchs that are 12 inches by 12 inches? That's really good, amazing autist. I'm glad your mom is cancer free. Good time to plant garlic. Well, I just got my garlic planted the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. You can plant bulbs until the ground is frozen. It's not frozen. So I guess I could do it. Wow. Um, let's see. I wanted to, so, somebody um, told me to go ahead, Gina, but I think somebody else did as well, told me to go ahead and cut all those okra pods out of my garden even I you know I just don't think they matured hold on a second Seeds. It's 91 days until spring, but yesterday was the winter solstice, right, Daryl? So I've got these seeds here. These are more okra seeds. But, you know, I had to cut lots of pods and go through lots of crappy looking pods to get just those few. So I'm probably not going to do any more. I might go out there again and do it. I don't know. But I've got... I totally forgot I had these. Tulip, red, of course. And the thing is, these need a lot of sun, right? So to get a lot of sun in after the leaf, the leaves, after the maples leaf out, means I've got to put them, you know, down where the deer might eat them. So what do you what do you say about that? Also, I've got anemone, anemone, St. Bridget mix. Bloom time, late spring, midsummer. 
21. It's called a corm. It's called a corm. Has anybody ever planted these? They're so pretty. And also, wait, I thought there were three. Huh. I must have grabbed one thing twice. All right. Okay. I know I got one more over there somewhere. Anyway, I just wanted to show you one more thing. Do you remember the video where I planted the moringa seed? So look, ta da! I got moringa, and sent. And somebody actually wrote me and said, you know, look how many flies there are. They come out of the soil. They're horrible. And somebody wrote and told me to use mosquito bits. So let me just point out that this. See if you can see it. This came from the seed. And this, this one is a new one. Uh, you can't really see it. This one is a new one that came from the original dead stem that I cut off. So there's two plants in here. Might be challenging to separate them and get them out intact, but uh, I would need to separate them at some point to make that, you know, work. Aha, the maritime provinces, maritime means sea, right? New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island. You know, I knew somebody that lived on Prince Edward Island. And I, I ran across one of her texts or messages the other day. And I thought, I haven't heard from this person in a really long time. And she was having a lot of problem. This was long before the whole virus stuff. Uh, so I don't know. And then of course, um, Echocentric Homestead is in, uh, he's in Newfoundland, I think. He's not on tonight. Oh, hush, Daryl. Plant my tulips in pots. I could do that. This is Gardens by Judy Levy. Is it Levy or Levi? I should ask. See, if I put a pot out there and leave it outside this winter, the cats will dig in it and poop in it. And so it's such a pain. It's such a pain having cats. <laughs> they're sweet and they love me and they're waiting right by the door for food. But uh, uh -huh. the chipmunks and squirrels get to what? The tulips? Oh, I hope that's not the case. Happy Gardener said, bye. Merry Christmas. Oh, good. Well, it's a good thing you don't have a cat, though. Amazing artist. Are you talking about Egyptian walking onions? Are, are these two different things? because I was sent Egyptian walking onions that were heirloom from uh, Ashland, Kentucky, and I killed it somehow. Uh, she said she would send me some more. But is it is it garlic or, or onions? But wouldn't boiling water on the potting soil also kill the beneficial bacteria or not? Susan is suggesting boiling water on potting soil kills fungus gnats. 
And anyway, you can't do that once the plant is in there. It would hurt the roots. So I don't know. Oh my gosh, you're getting rain for Christmas. How lovely. The lily canna will multiply. I don't know if I have lily. Judy had to go. I don't know if I have lily canna or not. Uh, oh, they eat the bulbs. Squirrels and chipmunks eat the bulbs of the tulips. Oy. So what I would need to do is put them in a pot and cover the whole top with with wire mesh, like chicken wire. Well, yeah, chicken wire. I think, a can a chipmunk go through chicken wire? Anyway, uh, and then when they come up, maybe they could come up through the chicken wire. I don't know. <laughs> Connie. Connie says, get some wire mesh and make covers for the pots. <laughs> we think alike. Yes, Daryl. That sounds lovely, Lorna. Ah. Oh, I'm, I'm glad things are looking up for Christmas. Amazing outies. God bless everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thank you all for hitting the like button. If you haven't, make sure you do before you check out here. And please tell a friend about my channel. If you enjoy my channel, please tell them why. And uh, maybe they'll tune in and, and subscribe. And that would be uh, a lovely Christmas for me indeed. So thank you so much. God bless you. Stay safe. Stay well. Stay positive. No fear. And stay healthy. Don't drink too much. Don't eat too much. Don't eat too many sweets. <laughs> so you can stay healthy. God bless you. See you next time. Ah, plastic mesh. Susan, you have to send me a link to that stuff. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. All right.